What's up, Monsoon Live Universe? It is I, Jeffrey, the Demon Monsoon. I say coming to you from Mineral Springs, West Virginia. Um, real quick, our thoughts and prayers are with everyone affected by Tropical Storm Barry in the Louisiana area. Please be safe. Well, this is it. Today's the day. The big fight, D Hammer versus your host, Jeffrey the Monsoon Mysick, going down at the Go Hazard at 7 o'clock. Um, I'm number 8. Yes, I do have the official card. Kind of like having this and highlighting it. Um, huge event. Going to be awesome off the wall. Temperature for the whole day out here is going to be 91. Um, but what I want to do is tell you guys what happened yesterday and then give you what's going to happen today and how I'm feeling. So yesterday I arrived here at my beautiful hotel. Um, checked in early. Thank you. Uh, got quick texted a couple people. Got some much needed sleep. Relax. Shot that quick video if you saw my Facebook. Got a message from Derek saying, hey, can you come over to my gym? I want to make sure we're on weight, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Uh, D Hammer. This gym is at his doghouse gym, which I gotta say, by the way, cool facilities. Uh, Coach Kenny and Mike, great facilities. I didn't get to use them, but they look really cool. Um, we just wanted to make sure I was on weight. I was at 203, and you know, somebody said, Man, that's kind of weird that you came to your opponent's gym. I'd be afraid I might get jumped. I'm like, I'm Jeff. I, I, I go where, where anybody says, so okay. Um, afterwards, and I helped Mike load some stuff up, blah, blah, blah. Got to know everybody, felt comfortable, which is key for me. As you guys know, I like to be comfortable where I'm at. Left there, uh, went to the Go Hazard, had got filled out my paperwork, had somebody double check and make sure I did everything by the book. All that was good. Weighed in, fully clothed. Again, I was fully clothed. I mean, shorts, a whole smash, 201. Now, I truly believe that without my clothes, I was only in my underwear, I'd be about 200, 199, like right around there. Here's the scary thing. I just weighed myself in our my scale I brought from home, 199. So yeah, Jeffrey's doing good. Weight's going down. But I'm getting muscular. Um, met Derek. Guys, I'll tell you right now, this is going to be a great fight. Derek is about the same height as me. He's very built. This is going to be fun. I'm going to look forward to it. And just so you guys know, it's three rounds, two minutes each, one minute break. So that was my experience yesterday. Had some dinner, got to hang with folks. Felt good. And now today, I'm packing up going to pick up Dan at Neutral Corner, and we're going to come back here, and we're going to do our fight. We have the fight. So I just want to share with you guys how I'm feeling right now, and I'm honest to God tell you, it's, I slept really good last night. I see, I, like, I went out at 11 o'clock. Like, I got home. I got here at the hotel at 10.30. I was out by 11. I don't remember. And I shot up at, like, 4.30. I was like, whoa, fully waking. Gotta love it. And you hear a shower on, I'm about to take a shower. Um, I'm scared to death, honestly, right now. I'm scared, nervous, excited, every, every kind of emotion you can think of. Um, I got a really good corner man. Dan has ran my corner for the three street piece. And you guys are probably thinking, well, Jeff, you're calm, cool right now. I was like, well, that's the host. Um, that's the host side of me. Um, I mean, I wouldn't even be this dressed down, but I was like, I'm keeping my muscle shirt on. Like how I look right now. Um, just so you guys know, um, first off, when we've done street beefs, you know, I, I'm always nervous, and you know, Dan gets me ready. So does Mouse. When I did the first fight over um, on March 23rd at A Train, Allen's show, I had somebody there with me as well the whole time. But there's that moment, that hour. The, that little bit of time that I didn't have nobody. I was by myself. Even though there were via text messages, it was still, you know, I'm by myself. And what was funny was I felt everybody who supported me, their spirit with me. And going to be like, yo, man, yo, kid, you got this. And, you know, everyone talking to me, telling me, you know, stuff about the fight card, how excited they are to see me. They can't believe I'm doing this. And for me to come all the way down here, you know, it's a huge blessing. You know, and, you know, that's encouraging. That's a lot of encouragement from folks that don't know me or have never seen me or ever heard of me. I only heard of Monsoon. But, you know, just everybody in general has been really friendly to me, and I thank them. I also have to thank um, Derek for being a gracious opponent. You know, come in and shake my hand. We did a picture, and I was like this. I got to do my iconic pose, what can I say? Um, that. But I um, want to tell you guys a couple program notes before I go on with this little speech. 
or rant. Um, there will be no Monsoon Live show at the fights. So do not expect a Monsoon Live show at the fights. I'm sorry, I'm not covering all the fights. We will do a complete wrap up the next few days. They'll be they'll they'll be for later. Um, I'm going to be focused on my fight. That is it. Um, when I turn off this camera, there will be a couple of people that will be getting text messages. They know who they are. Um, the rest will not. There will be. Uh, Postings on my personal Facebook. So if you're friends with me, be friends with me to get that personal one. And then my phone's going, I will not answer no messages, anything, unless it is certain people that have been given clearance. And you know who you are. And if I have 3 p.m., I'll do it. Mike, Face, Mouse, Sunshine, Dan, my mom, my family. That's it. If you're family, you know who you are. You're considered uh, my best friends, people from my church. There's certain people that get that privilege, so just so you guys know. Um, we'll do a complete, um, I'll record a video afterwards, after the fight, so you guys know how it went. Um, we'll just blast that out real quick for everybody. But um, Right now, I'm nervous. I'm about to take a shower. No, you're not going to see what happens. Um, I can't wait to get the gel out of my hair, but um, I'm excited. I'm scared. Um, we've done shows like the. We've done events like different events like that, but this is different for me. This is an incredible opportunity. I'm gonna fly out, say, and um, we're gonna do our. I'm gonna do my best, and I'm dedicating this to all of you, those who have supported me. Um, this is for you guys. Um, when I did the exhibition bout, that was kind of for me. Um, and everything else has always been for Monsoon Live or for my family or for those who believe me um, or for me but this is what I love to do this is what I want to do I want to box for the next few years I can do I want to box and be able to say yo no matter who you are you can achieve anything and I'm like look where I'm at I'm sitting in a hotel room talking to you guys via the, on YouTube about a fight that I'm about to have with a guy who he's 0-1 He's a tough fighter. This dude is really good. And I'm going against him in his hometown. That's huge for me. And I drove all the way by myself. I stretched myself beyond my point. And that's the cool part about it. That's the encouragement you guys give me. So today, win or lose, this is for all of you saying thank you. And if my hands raised up in victory, it is. If my hands are raised in victory, so what? The fact is, I left it all on the battlefield, and that is it. I'm leaving it all on the line. Everything. Everything that's inside of me. All the pain, all the hardship, everything that I've gone through is going to go down this night. Everybody who's ever picked on me, everybody who has said main things about me, who has used the R word, everyone who said I couldn't achieve anything, look what I have achieved. I'm doing pretty good right now. This is for you guys. This is for the Monsoon Live universe. For street beefs. For my family. For my dad. And for everybody. And for that kid out there who doesn't think he can achieve anything. Who's been picked on, ridiculed his whole life. Who says, you are nothing. B.S. In the sight of God, you are amazing. That's my legacy. That's my lineage. If I never get married or have any kids, I want those. I want my legacy to be like, that's the guy who believed in himself, who everyone believed in. Said, you could do it. Who told the naysayers and the doubters, go F yourself. It's game on. I love you guys. Till we meet again, which will be sometime late tonight. It's go time. Peace from Mineral Springs. Love you.